morning, my name is Marietta Schreiber and I've been a docent at the Mitchell Gallery since the inception of the docents and I welcome you today. I'm in the President's Office at St. John's College in this painting called Harvard Amsterdam 1807 was given to St. John's in 1947. Since it was given so long ago, we can hardly go back and find out something about it. So my job was to untangle the mystery about this painting. Al Hoving is from the Rijksmuseum. He took one look at this and said, it's from about 1650. And this is 1807. The ships on the left over here, according to Al Hoving, were what the Dutch called flutes, which was a form of ship built in Horn that made, that was a three-masted ship that made cargo much easier to carry. But the flutes had six cannons on each side, and the cannons were sometimes removed to make more room for cargo. Well, if you look over here, you can see that there are many, many more cannons than that, including two stern cannons. Here, the cannon ports are all orange. They are open. Here are, the, here are the cannon port lids up. Here are the cannons. Here's another layer. Here's more there. Uh, Seal Bosman at the Maritime Museum in Amsterdam suggested they were warships. This was at the time the Dutch were fighting from independence from Spain, and also it was the Dutch, Indi Dutch East India Company going at full bore. They were from 1602 to 1800. They needed the warships to protect the flutes when they were going back and forth over to gather spices, etc., from areas around Madagascar. Then Christie's old master department suggested it was 18th century, in the circle of Jan Abramson Bierstaden. Now, this is a print of part of a Bierstaden painting. Now, the one thing that probably clued the man from Christie's is take a look at the water in both paintings. If you will notice, the water in the foreground of the Bierstaden is very similar to the water in this particular painting. As it goes back to here, the water is quite lacy. Some of this water is quite lacy. As you go back, the water, of course, gets more calm and more calm, as is doing back here and turns to gray. The sail, the treatment of the sails right in this area is very similar to the treatment of the sails, including the colors, in this particular painting. So I can understand why Al Hoving may have thought that this was painted from the circle of Bierstaden. So consequently, since Bierstaden died in 1665, maybe this painting is much older. We don't know. This painting is full of mystery. Now, one thing that you, one needs to know about all of this is in, in Dutch painting at this time, all the boats had to be painted very accurately. Dr. Bosman felt that the position of these ships and the position of the yard arms, these long pieces holding the sails, uh, that the ships were gradually lowering their sails and coming into port and ready to drop their anchors. The scene, believe it or not, even though the title, the scene is not Amsterdam. Amsterdam had many, many more towers than this particular scene has. You can only see this tower and a couple little ones. So that has been dismissed as being Amsterdam. When you look at the series of crests and the decoration on the back of this vessel, that is neither Amsterdam or any of the other big cities in Holland. However, it could be the crest of a family who commissioned the boat, 
or it could be a company. Notice also the Dutch flag, red at the top, white in the middle, blue at the bottom. We have three long boats in the picture. This one, which is the closest. This one, which you can hardly see except for the light on these two people and another third long boat back here. Basically, 20th, 20th century water taxis. This is a, basically a yacht, spelled differently in Dutch, but became anglicized to be yacht. These ships over here are Zealanders. Right there is a dark area, and right there is a dark area. The Zealand boats had leeboards. This is a much better picture. Here is a leeboard on a similar vessel. Now, the leeboards were used uh, as a way of stabilizing the boat and using it to help steer in place of a keel because the Zyder Z was quite low, quite shallow, and you couldn't always have a deep keel boat to balance the sail aboard. So they would use one leeboard at a time, depending on where they were going and which way the wind was going. But there were leeboards on both the port and the starboard side of the boat. Now, let's talk about the composition of this painting. The woman from the Maritime Museum in Amsterdam thought the painting was quite unbalanced. The center axis of a Dutch painting of this time, there is, there is always some sort of special meaning or some sort of special mystery. Well, if you look at the middle of this painting, there's nothing there to speak of. So therefore, that doesn't quite work. Now, Cecile Bosman from the Amsterdam Maritime Museum thought that maybe this painting was wider at one time, and then the mystery could become these three vessels. She thinks that maybe it was cut off two or three feet. So once again, this makes this a little bit mysterious. In conclusion, we do not know what this painting really is and what time it is from. This painting was probably not done by a specialized marine painter. The proportions of the ships are not quite right, they are not quite accurate, and they are not as detailed as they should be. Uh, we know it is in Amsterdam, but we do not know if it was painted in the 1650s and then somehow it got an 1807 label on it, or we don't know perhaps if it was painted in 1807 for a subject from the 1650s. Once again, it was given to the college in 1947, so consequently we can't go back 70 years and find out anything about how it came to be given to the college. The story of the painting remains a mystery. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy the mystery.